everyone why are you so goddamn close to my face <laughs> welcome to uh uh um tomb of annihilation i almost said adventures bad me i don't know why I said that. <laughs> sorry we didn't play last night guys um me and colton were busy being the barf boys so uh now but we're here now to play tomb because we feel better so all right yeah you can back up a little bit see yeah we are a little bit Sweet. Sweet. thanks anyways um, yeah, st uh, stuff happens. I felt really yeah. bad. I wanted to play. I felt, I actually felt really good at around like 9 p.m. And I was like, maybe. And I was like, nah. But, <laughs> but yeah, so um, we're glad you're all here, here to join us for another uh, Tomb of Annihilation game. Um, I didn't name the last episode. Sorry, guys. I'll go do <laughs> it's just this episode. Live D&D. <laughs> <D &D. laughs> I mean, so, they're not wrong. <laughs> Yeah, this is so accurate. I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, G Fuel. Use code Fireball to get 30% off. Um, I believe the code is 30% right now because, yeah, it should be 30%. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> and we also want to give a shout out to our patrons um, who are giving us money over on our Patreon to help us upgrade all of our streams. <coughs> so big Damn shout it. out to Echu, Melody Olvera, Jaren, Michael. I always say Jaren and Michael really fast, like they're one name. It's not. It's Jaren and then there's Michael. Uh, Cal the God, Mike Salmon, Pimpin' the Hood, Will Pratt, possibly re related to Chris Pratt, Micah Bot. <laughs> Micah Pot of Guns. That's what I almost said. Micah God of Puns, uh, Penguin Culture, Teutonic Knight, Adam Halleck, Arthur Souza, Mimi H, Danny, Mama Love and Papa Joy, James P, Patrick Skifstad, Angriest Bird God, Rick Osborne, Notorious Thief, Grant Thatcher, Cade the Autismo, and Josh Travis. So, thanks all y'all for the patronage. Mm -hmm. The button's so, back. The button is back. I hate that button. I'm breaking into your house. Oh, I'm so glad it's back. Thanks, Colton. Mm -hmm. um, so, last we left off on Tomb of Annihilation, um, uh, uh, Craig, can you give the the <coughs> detailed description of the really complex and really crazy, uh, detailed and long game yeah. we had last time? Uh, we made gigabooms and many people died. <laughs> 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 they, were, they perished in flame <laughs> in hand to hand combat. Um, yeah, we started with um, where we left off with kind of a split party. It was just kind of us, and then we had. Uh, what is his name? Artist Simber take back some of the people that we found, but it wasn't all of them. And we found out that half of them are heading to Imbala. But before that, we had to deal with this small, what we thought was small, it turned out to be a very large group of giants that were heading our way. So we decided to head back to uh, Chahaka Anchorage, make some improvised explosives, bring them back, meet the group, leave them in the dust, then hide these bombs. Mm -hmm. And then that's when the giga booms happened and people died. Chena got dropped, almost killed. We yeah. saved her. Chena got bonked. Clutch oh, heal, bonked. many health. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. We killed a barbarian looking chick and then we stopped about there with the force yep, still on you guys fire. looted all of their bodies. And um, you guys were planning out your, uh, your next moves on where to move next through Chult as you try to make your way closer to Mbala. Um, and that that's where we left off. Uh, you guys are currently in the jungle getting ready to uh, to, to move your way through the jungle. Um, is there anything you guys want to talk about, do, before you head out? Um, I don't think so. That's a resounding no. <laughs> then yeah. uh, let's do what we always did during our travel through the jungles of Chult and uh, pick the two hexes that you guys are going to move through. Um, I, I, uh, Tiff, you go ahead and do that. Okay. And yep. then make a survival check. Do we have enough resources to do the normal guidance inspiration? Or are we still kind of oh, uh, sapped? I can, I'm good. I'm okay. So we'll manage to do a plus you. four then. Okay, um, or D4 rather. I think we'll just move this way. We okay. should go, uh, oh wait, we wanted to go here. Actually, we'll stay along the the um, the river. Okay. Oh, wasn't, here. I was gonna say, wasn't one thing that we had to cross the Ataz? Yeah, so we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go that way, just to start. Um, and I'll give you a roll right now. Go for it. 
Um, I don't know how to do it on here. So let's do it there. And then, um, are you got? Do you guys have insect repellent? <coughs> yep. I guess. How much insect repellent do you guys currently have? Uh, I lot. have a lot. <laughs> I have oh. fifty-four days still. Yeah, we've been on the boat yeah. a lot, and then yeah, I know. I'm just making sure you're subtracting it. Yes. Yep. Um. Well, I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all right. I don't know how long people we were in the. Uh, we were in the forest when in the game that I missed. So actually, yeah, that's something I need to go back and do too. Is the um, the uh, uh, calendar? Oh, it's the um, seventh seventh month, the first day, the fourteenth. You're keeping track of it. Yes. It's the seventh. It's the seventh it's, month. Well, yep. it's the first day of the seventh month of fourteen ninety five. That's right. Good job. And my role is a not natural 20. We've been on the island since 529, 1495. All right, so this is going to cover uh, the f uh, f the first of flame rule, which means it's summertime, guys. It wasn't no. already? No, now no, every right. day <laughs> it's between 90 to 105 degrees oh, every oops, single day. Sorry, on the I calculated wrong. It's actually the third, no, third month. Third well, month. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually winter. Uh, as you guys are walking through the jungle on this day, it is, it's just so humid. Um, it, it's unbearingly hot. Nobody's, we who's wearing armor? Are none of you wearing armor? That's Ira, 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 Ira Because you're a monk, you're a barbarian. Ira, and, Ira has um, magic initiate and cast mage armor on himself. You guys are like the coolest people ever, just strutting around. In I just can't clothes. wear armor. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's Not awesome. Efficient. So uh, yeah, none of you have to necessarily remove your armor though, uh, China. Um, you Thank adapt God. pretty easily to it. Um, mm -hmm. While Tiff is over, like probably removing some like furs, Ari is definitely rolling up her sleeves. Um, Iris, uh, he's like cloak of billowing, no, or whatever cloak he's uh, he's wearing. Um, None, uh, because the clothing that Ari bought doesn't have um, attachments. China is wearing her hat and like full clothed, just like walking just and like totally willingly <laughs> sweating. A psychopath, aren't you? No, it feels good. <laughs> I don't know what you guys' problem is. It feels um, like home. But where is uh, Yeah, it I don't does feel like home, spicy. but certainly where I originally from, yes. Um, the hot air um, continuously every year reminds uh, Ira and Ari of a time in Waterdeep uh, when the castle lanterns were <laughs> amidst. <laughs> 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 just um, when they dead. were amidst. Good way to describe it. They were just sacrificing their own babies. Anyways, <laughs> uh, you guys uh, travel. Uh, however, traveling alongside the river has made it a lot cooler. So it isn't like 105 at all times. It's maybe like 95, 98. It's still really hot. Um, and eventually, uh, the day comes to a close. Um, you, uh, the um, you guys camp right alongside the river Taff and um, head to sleep. And uh, the next day comes um, another pretty warm day in uh, in the jungle, though it's very misty, very um, uh, humid uh, on this day. You guys are immediately just soaked in in uh, in just hot, sticky uh, jungle fluids. So uh, go ahead and roll another survival check, Tiff. And if there's anything you guys want to do specifically on a day, just cut me off and let me know. Um, that will be a 16. All right, go ahead and move the two um, spaces that you're doing. We're going to go this way. Right. Just forward two. Yeah, it literally is not hard at all to follow the river. Um, there are points in time where you do have to, like, okay, we can't directly follow the river, so we have to go into the jungle a bit and then kind of weave our way back and kind of listen to it as you follow it. So there's a possibility that you could lose it, especially while in the jungle. But um, you're not having a hard time. Um, go ahead and roll another d20, Tiff. Uh, give me a quick second. A D twenty is going to be. Also, yes, everybody. I'm I'm crispy voice Jacob today. Yeah. <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, all right. <coughs> Can you roll a percentage? Ooh. Mm. 
89. More weird talking birds. <clears throat> Just kidding. Um, as you guys travel through uh, the jungle, um, you make your way along, um, and in the distance, uh, you can hear, it sounds like, um, I guess uh, Ira would hear it first, because I think he has the highest passive perception, um, but you all begin to kind of slowly hear this. Um, there's movement up in the trees. There's like, shh, 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 shh. and you hear like, hoo, 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 hoo. oh, like, like monkeys. Yeah, kind of mm -hmm. like monkeys. I see. Um, and then you hear like a really wicked scream. It sounds vaguely human, but you can tell it's some animalistic scream. It's just like. Aah! Okay. Are you just type of special like, uh... monkey creatures that we need to worry about too? Um, there can be. Um, it's what kinds of nature check. Tiff. I can nature check. It's a fifteen. Um, yeah. As soon as you hear t uh, Chena say "weird, uh, strange monkey creature," um, immediately to your mind, uh, you are aware of the Sioux monsters. Mm, okay. Um, Sioux monsters are. Uh, here, I'll just send you this <laughs> on Discord. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate? Yeah. Um, wow. Do we, do we have Jesus a Christ. For, for us? For them? Okay, so <laughs> um, Tiff will look over and um, look to Ari and go, we should be all right. But these creatures we may encounter are definitely hostile and can cause us a lot of harm. And we might want to try and steer clear of them if we can. All right, I have just the thing for that. Um, Ira, as this conversation is happening, you look up in the trees, like it's happening behind you. So Tiff and Ari and Chena, you're involved with this <coughs> conversation. Ira, you are looking up into the trees. You can see someone coming out of the tree. There's a person. And then as you get a closer look, it's not a person at all. Check out the roll 20, that's what you see. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> you know you guys there... said avoid them? Yeah, come here, I have a plan. I point up. It's just, oh. it's frozen like that and it's like. <sighs> like, does it stop when, we, when it sees that we see it? It locks eyes with you. Hi. Um. <laughs> <laughs> It turns and it tan grabs the branch that it's on and it like falls to the ground. And it's just I'm gonna summon my uh my Albert at this point. Roll intimidation. Okay. Where's my intimidation hat? That's a twenty-five. It as soon as it appears in your hand, it it backs up and it and it runs off of the, into the jungle. It's gone. They're intelligent enough to come back with a group, so whatever we might want to do, we might want to do it sooner rather than okay. later. Um, so we should move then. Yeah, absolutely. I can make us all invisible. Would that be helpful? That would certainly help. I think so, okay. and then we can find a place to Let me bunker think. down. Uh, you guys all get a little boop on your nose if you're invisible now. <laughs> <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Everybody turns invisible. And as you all turn invisible, you swear in the backs of the jungles, you can hear distant laughing. Um, oh. And you guys begin to move, uh, walking along through we the jungle. We are all, all holding onto like, each other's shoulders to make sure we don't lose each other. <laughs> Go ahead and do a group uh, stealth check. And you do not have advantage. I'm, you're, I'm never gonna forgive you for this, Colton. Look, it's in the book. What am I supposed to do? 
Never bring it up ever. <laughs> I can't just let the rules sit unsaid. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give you advantage. I think that's so dumb. Ah. <laughs> I can't rationalize it in my head. I'm like, I rolled the same then why, number. Then why would you roll invisibility? Like, what the fuck? Roll with advantage. We, we do roll with advantage, right? Because we're invisible. By so Raku, according to the by book, Ra? no. But I think oh. that's bullshit. So, so, <laughs> so in the book. I'm gonna hmm. gonna go through this in the book. You get the, um, you get the the heavily obscured condition if invisibility is cast on you. Heavily obscured means that an opponent uh, looking for you um, is effectively blinded. Is effectively blind when they're looking for you. Nowhere in the description of any of the effects that occurs from you getting invisibility does it say you get advantage on stealth rolls. Huh. I'm gonna give. I understand that in combat. For now, I'm going to give it advantage because you guys are kind of moving. And, uh, I mean, the Sioux monsters can smell you. They can track you. Um, and you guys are invisible. So I'm going to give mm -hmm. you that advantage to, to okay. getting away from them. 30, by the way. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Not natural 20, but ain't no 30. All right. Chena? I got a 17. And Ari? Five. Five? I rolled two fours. All right, so you guys are moving along. Ira, you are being as silent as possible. Uh, Tiff, Chena, Ari, you guys are all following along very well, um, kind of just moving and kind of moving yourself along. And uh, you, I mean, you guys are being very, very quiet. Uh, after about 15 minutes, um, there's more rustling up in the trees again. And you begin to hear like, <laughs> And As then in, like, out of the tree, mm -hmm. uh, a rock <laughs> lands on the ground next to you guys, and it, it, it just it just rolls on the ground, and then another one. <laughs> and you guys are kind of you're avoiding them as you're walking, and then you guys just hear, "Ow!" Are you take one? bludgeoning damage uh -oh. as one of the rocks has just smacked you in the back and all of them just ah, ah, ah. everybody roll initiative <laughs> <laughs> you want to bring the initial trucker up or something uh, oh, yeah I'm, uh, we're gonna use the, the big big oops. just used for the uh for the giants so i'm just gonna delete it oh real fuck fast. big oofs what? i also sent you something on uh, messenger at it not now, but whenever you have a chance. Uh, we've, we, we, we have long I said since, so. Mm -hmm. I love this goddamn game. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Weird fucking murder monkeys? Yes, please. No, Absolutely. I don't like their teeth. Weird fucking murder monkeys. They're like little dead guys. Yeah, they're pretty horrible. And they have all kinds of horrible abilities, too. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. You know. Rip. <laughs> they also have like sonic abilities, so they can mind blast people. It's the uh, most ridiculous what? thing in the world. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. It's a monkey brain blast. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys do not know where they are, but we are also still invisible, correct? Uh, you are still invisible. Cool. So uh, everybody's invisible. Oh wait, hang on. Ignore the, ignore the uh, initiative tracker. Okay. Oh, don't I need to roll to maintain concentration? You sure do. <laughs> one damage. One damage. Roll a natural one. I no, the 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 DC, DC is ten. Um. Uh, yeah, I gotta plus my con, right? Yeah. Uh, nineteen. All right. Warcaster. So. Warcaster. Landmaster. Warcaster. Shut up. Shut up with the Landmaster. All right. Music. All right. Uh, you guys can go ahead and roll initiative, and or put your initiatives into the into the tracker if you'd like. Oof. Oof. I rolled the lowest I can roll. And you still rolled higher than me. I... <laughs> oh, by the way, I can't be surprised. Um, if that uh, matters. Nobody's surprised. <clears throat> cool. We know that they are there. Um, and they know you are there. 
Yes. Also, I think Tiff would have lost, not lost her halberd because she can't lose it, but she would have ditched it uh, on the stealth portion for a shield and her jeweled scimitar she has instead. All right, no worries. Um, all right, so uh, everybody put their initiatives in? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, top of the round, uh, one of the creatures uh, flings itself down from the air. Um, and you guys all see it. From the air. They from fly. one of the trees, sorry. It just, <laughs> it lands right here. Um, and it just wildly starts swinging. Hoping no. to hit something. Um, actually, no, it would run. And as it's running, it it just uh, tip before a moment even happens. One's run into you and it stands and it's about your height. And it just, <laughs> just starts shredding into whatever's in front of it. Uh, and it's going to make a bite and a claw attack against you. I'm sorry, it's about Tiff's height? Yeah. yeah. So it's like yeah. six feet tall. Yes. They, 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 they curl over people. like monkeys, but when they stand, they're like your height. All um, right. And they have these really beady um, orange eyes. Like their eyes are like just an abyss and it's all like shadow. And then it deep in there is just this little bead of orange. And they have like these, these, these gnarled kind of sharp teeth. They look like monkeys. Yeah, these guys are fun. Um, <laughs> has a 17 and a 13, Tiff. Uh, miss, miss. Shield just, makes my AC 18. Oh, perfect. Um, so it actually, it swings around and hits nothing. And it's like, it's like frustrated. It like hits the ground a couple of times. Uh, Chena, it's your turn. Okay. Um, let's go here and then here and then here. So I'm gonna put myself there. Okay. And then it has no idea. You just kind of okay. run beyond, and it thinks it hears you, but it's it's not really sure. Well, it knows now because I'm gonna hit it twice. Yep. You get advantage. Oh well, that's good because I just roll a natural one <laughs> and then a twenty-five. There you go, twenty-five hits. <laughs> that's the actual one, and then no longer advantage because now I have attack. Now you're I'm physical, so visibility is dropped. Twenty-three on the second hit. So twenty-five because you're flanking. Uh, well, it can't see Tiff, so it doesn't count. So never mind. Twenty-three still hits. Uh so I'm not big, just so I can just it's just appear behind it and stab it, and it's just ah, screaming. I rolled the same thing both times. So uh, twenty-two. Uh, piercing damage in total. Ouch. Okay. Um, then I might as well just try and... Hold on. What? Ooh, it didn't succeed at System Shock. Oh. Um, you can't take reactions. You, you okay. do so much damage to it, it can barely move. Yep. Um, that's cool. We will, um, I will use... He's mortal, by the way. Nice. Um, wait, 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 wait. okay, hold on. Uh, martial arts. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm gonna make a um, arms strike as a bonus action too. Go for so it. So I just like, I like hit it twice and I just like kick it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, natural one. Natural one misses. <laughs> as you stab into it and like pull your blade out, as it's like it's like reeling from the pain, you just like turn to kick it and you kind of just like trip a little bit. You're, you make, you're natural. It's fine. Yep. yep. <laughs> I, I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to completely screw that up. That's, Out of uh, the that trees. That would be my turn. We'll see all these of these. These three monkeys. all turn towards you, Chena. Oh, jeez, they all got the same thing. <laughs> and they all run towards you. This one jumps yeah. down, runs over here. This one kind of jumps down, gets to here. Um, and uh, <coughs> those two are going to attack you while this one is going to focus. And as it kind of focuses its forward, its eyes begin to flare <laughs> up. Oh, no. You see this kind of radiant kind of like distant um you know in Baldur's Gate 3 whenever they use the um the psychic powers from the from the the tentacles uh -huh. in your head it's like that yeah. it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. and you just feel your mind become like invaded god um make a uh like, can you make it a, a wisdom saving throw wisdom saving throw i indeed can do that we'll see if i can pass it i got 21 
you succeed. Uh, you don't feel um, uh, anything really. You feel kind of like do. try to invade like your mind. You hear like screaming, and then you just you just push it away. It's it's gone. Um, however, uh, these two are going to attack you twice each, so four attacks. 11, okay. 23, 16, 9, and a 9. Um, okay, so 11, 16, 23, and 9. nine. So two hits. Two hits. Uh, that would be the, the bite and the claw. Um, so that's going to be 10 damage. As uh, the two bad. of them, one of them kind of shreds into you. You kind of block another one. You block a bite, and then one bites you in the side. There's just so many attacks. It's like, oh, I know what it feels like to be bombarded. <laughs> oh, this is uh, how Tiff, it feels. it's your turn. Uh, Tiff's going to attack the one directly in front of her. Go for it. Uh, that one. Um, and I, I assume it's a plus two. Right? Yes, I am. It's a plus two and vanish because you're technically invisible still. Um, God, like it's it's a lot. It's like thirty-one or something like that. <laughs> it's immense. Whatever and that is, this, it is in immense. This monkey's life. So she since it's immortal. Um, seven. Seven oh. damage. Yeah. I mean that kills it. Okay. <laughs> Cut it down, and all of them begin like screaming and wailing. Um, and at that time, you guys now know Ari and Ira just from hearing them all scream and wail from one of them dying. You can you know where the other ones are. Okay. 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 Oh, there's a lot okay. of them. Okay. <laughs> yes. uh, that might change my 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 bonus action here. Yeah, you just kill that um, one. You hear like three more behind, and you're like, uh. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of spoopy. Um, I think this is just gonna walk up over. Oh crap! It's a lot. I'm gonna go over here. Uh, like, um, so, like so. All right, you kind of just like get between yeah. them, and they're they're all you know they're focusing and whatnot. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, oh, no, I will. I have I have one more attack. All right. Uh, twenty one. Hmm. Twenty one on which one? Uh, this one. Yeah, that hits. Question for you: Is it a yes. bonus action to summon your halberd? Um, I believe it's an action. Yeah. Are um, you using it right now? No, I switched it for the scimitar and the shield, remember? Uh, that's only seven to this one. Seven. Uh, this seven one. damage? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. You just strike into it. Um, it hurts, um, but doesn't kill it. I think I'm going to keep my bus, I'm, and I will not rage. But yeah. I will um, Hexblade Curse this one. All right, let me mark that one with purple um ira it's your turn given the uh forest uh foresty nature of the the jungle yes. um would this area be considered dim light sure, sure? cool Actually, um, i'll say anywhere that isn't this path no there wouldn't be a path so yeah you're good cool uh and these three boys are in the tree still? Yeah, they're about 20 <clears throat> feet up. 20 feet up, okay. Perfect! Boop, doo, 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 boop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, good old Shadow Blade. Okay. Um, and I'm going to cast it at third level. Okay. Oh boy. Um, ignore the damage because that's not accurate. Um, no. I'm just casting the spell. Um, it has a like range. A shadow blade out of like a tree. And its range is uh, 20 feet on a throw. I, like, I always love that you can just throw it. So I'm just going <laughs> to throw it at that guy. Go for it. And since it's a uh, good old dim finesse light, weapon. finesse and dim light, I have advantage. Um, and it treats it like a finesse weapon, so I can just roll this, even though it's not technically... That hits. So a 22 to hit. Definitely. Um, and it does, so it would do 3d8. Unfortunately, you wouldn't have advantage, but the 22 would hit. Because as soon as you cast the Shadow Blade, you're no longer invisible. A dim light. You get advantage on attacks with a Shadow Blade if you're in dim light or darkness, which is Thank why you. I asked. That's it. <laughs> and getting advantage means I get sneak attack. Oh, fuck. 
So... Because yeah. it acts as a finesse weapon. Wait. No, I can do this over here. Um... Colton over here literally talking about a, a finesse a shadow blade. That is like uh, the coolest shit ever. So that's 24... <laughs> literally pulled a sword out of nowhere and sneak attacking with it. So it's uh, 24 psychic damage. <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> Poor monkey's brain is gone. He has to make a con save. I like how all the. Um, <laughs> of course he did. I, That's I fine. like how all the tokens are. Like, they look upside down. I know they're upside the down. Because the image is, is upside down. Um, you huck that thing over to it, and it just like poof, hits it, and like I always assume it disappears because it's psychic damage. Well, it disappears and, and then reappears into my hand. In your hand, and it's just it's just like screeching and like flailing all over the place. Is that? Let your me turn? check. It doesn't. Uh, yeah, it's my turn. Okay, um, it's it's that one's turn. He hangs from his tail down towards you and is going to batter you with bites and claws. <coughs> what if I said no? Um, nine on the bite, nineteen on the claws. Um, cutting words. Okay. Uh, that nineteen becomes a fifteen, which misses. All right. Um, <laughs> You it, do it say no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally, I probably literally looks at him and says no. <laughs> Perfect. No. Um, Ari. I'm going to go right here. And oh. I'm going right. to... Um, Our caster's getting right into the thick of it. Yep. I guess I went down this way to make sure that Ari had someone close when when she showed up, but now she's over I there. I, can't, I couldn't see you. I wasn't looking. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, twin spell inflict wounds at um, fifth Oof. level. Oof. Oof. Bonk. The um, grasps of death. <laughs> no, I'll do fourth level actually. Sorry. Jeez. So and I'm. Invisible, so do I get advantage on one of them and not the other, or? If you're twin spelling it, I'll let them be at the same time. Okay. I was gonna yeah. say, wouldn't it be at the same time? Because because you're testing, you're testing oh, one spell. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> um, God damn. Are you pressing the delete key? Dirty twenty. <laughs> twenty three to hit. No, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. And hits. then the other one is a twenty two. Both hit. Delete. <laughs> delete. 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 Bonus back. points if anyone gets what that's from. Nope. Um, it reminds me of um, the Daleks from Doctor Who. But you, I know you've never seen Doctor Who, so. Nope, that's not it. I feel like out of the group sitting here, Spencer's probably the only one that would get it. Probably, but I don't. Doesn't bring anything to mind besides Doctor Who. Sorry, I need a calculator. I don't know how to do math. It's okay, none of us do. Colton does. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Hey, two gnomes, you got it. That one guy from Death Note. Um, oh my god, get out, get out of it's, my head. Uh, I was gonna say Death Note. <laughs> I've been asked if I've watched that show like five times by Jacob's little brother. and um... My little brother <laughs> loves Death Note. It's so does good. he now? It's, it's, it's my not... favorite anime. Dude, it's good, right? <laughs> Death Note is genuinely good. I've seen it, but it's been so long that I'm like, I need to rewatch it. Um, that's 37 damage. Um, do I need to, to roll? Which, to both of them? To, to both of them, because they twin spelled. How? Describe this. Um, well, Please. I've always said that people melt when I touch them with this spell, so. Do, is it their bones melt, too? Um, no, probably just their flesh. All right, cool. So Ari appears from nowhere between Sheena and Tiff, and she holds out her hands, grabs the other two Sioux monsters, and they both turn, and there's a moment, it's like Indiana Jones at the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, <laughs> and they both just turn, they look at Ari, and their skin and flesh <clears throat> just melt off their body. They're just skeletons standing there. She holds them, and as she lets them go, they just, clunk, 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 they just, uh, they're just bones, just a pile of bones. Fucking hell. Fuck. All right. Yeah. And then these ones uh, all run to, uh, to Ira. Rip Ira! You make two wisdom this. saving it's throws. Fine. Two what? Two wisdom saving throws. Uh, As the yeah. two of them are trying to blast your mind. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, this is the one saving throw I'm not good at. 
Ira, you are stunned. Oh, oh nice. fun. As the oh. two of them uh, run over towards you, um, you uh, you kind of turn, you're like, Ari's got my back, and you see her melt two of them, and then you see two, two of the other ones running on all fours towards you, and, and they're both just like holding up at their heads, and you feel your mind, and it hurts, and you can't, and they're just screaming in your mind, and you you just can't feel anything or see anything. You're currently stunned, and you also take a 16 psychic damage. Oh, that's not that bad. Gina, it's your turn. Yeah. Um, you currently see uh, Ira. Cool. <laughs> my uh, and he's not moving. Don't worry, my shadow blade's fine though. That's good. Uh, she is just gonna like go quick, go speedy, put herself right there. So, boop. Um, I want you to attack as you're running and just close line. So <laughs> just, just pull her arm out, just yeah. knock her to the ground. <laughs> sure, I, I'll do that. It, it's going to be two um, sword attacks. Go for it. Um, and I will um, bonus action to do flurry of blows, and I'll count one of them as being the close line attack <laughs> as I'm running in. Amazing. So. And roll those. And I, I, I just always do the, the the weapon attacks first before the unarm. So, um, so a uh, crit. Oh. And then oh, natural oh, nice. one <laughs> crit, crit fail. Again? Yes. And then eighteen. That, that hits. And then sixteen. Also hits. Okay, so I'm gonna say. Um, the crit sword is on this one, the, the crit fail is on this one, and then one unarmed to both. Go for it. Um, I'll see after the damage. Just give me a second. So. It's okay. Level 11, big big damage calculations. Seven plus seven plus 14. Plus I should show you guys my turn as Jason in, in, in Six, five. So <laughs> this like, guy... Okay, hit Bardic Inspiration, then he moves five feet, then I get eight <laughs> AC, then 1d6 Cosmic Damage, 1d8 uh, Bardic Inspiration Damage, 2d6 Sword Damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So th this one takes um, uh, 19 damage. Ooh. And then the other guy takes uh, nine... He succeeds his system shock. Nine? Nine, nine bludgeoning damage. And okay. then, so I use the key for where you blows. Um, I am going to try to invoke the fire rune on that crit right here. All right. On this guy. On uh, which guy? On this guy. This guy. All right. So mm -hmm. strength save. <clears throat> yes. Seven. He fails. Oh my God, it worked. Yeah, it worked. It worked. <laughs> So it, it goes off. Um, target takes an extra. Like uh, around him. Oh, okay. So, so so they changed actually. I believe it does two d six fire damage, and he's restrained for. A They've minute. added something which I think makes it so then we can um, take away the it, that I can use it no matter use it. Uh, what is it? Um, the target takes an extra two d six fire damage. And it must uh, make a succeed on strictly those, and what then becomes restrained and takes an extra two d six. It automatically will take a two d six right, That's right when I get the So, so it takes two d six, and then if it no fails, it what. takes another two d six, and is restrained. Awesome. It takes eleven damage, so it's probably dead at this point. I'm I'm hoping. We'll, we'll wait for him to come back. Hey, Colton. I'll rewatch Death Note if you watch Doctor Who. One of those things is much that's, longer than the other one. Six episodes, and it's okay, twenty six years. Watch David Tennant. Watch David Tennant's seasons, and I'll rewatch Doctor. Or I'll rewatch both. All right, I'll do this on one on on one on one one condition. What? You get Jacob to watch it with us. Eleven fire damage. Eleven fire damage. <laughs> uh, how do? You, Sh fiery shackles invoked by your rune kill um, this monster. I imagine, monster. so as, so, so she clotheslines him as she's coming in, <laughs> then as he's like on the ground, she stabs into him, and mm -hmm. like the fire, and like the, the rune, she she, she, she she says like fire, um, which invokes the rune, it glows for a second, and like fire shackles rip around the sword, 
go around him and just like pull pull him down and just like he just catches on fire and just uh, burns to death. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, it just screams and then becomes ash as it curls up mm-hmm. and hits the ground. The other two. Um, uh, I just want uh, before I because I'm technically not completely done. I since I did hit with this guy, I want to try and throw a stunning strike on him. Go for it. Uh, they need to make a what is that? Eleven. I think that's a fail. That is a fail. Oh my god. So now they now this one is stunned. <laughs> Great. Now my turn is done. Unless I want to put uh, action surge, but I don't think I will. <laughs> This one, which is hexed, uh, uh, notices the massacre that is happening right now, um, and <laughs> you poor fuck. <laughs> oh, he, he, he got he, he just got stretched. <laughs> <laughs> he spliced himself. You can't run enough. <laughs> um, and then make a wisdom save, Tiff. <laughs> Mm. Oh, well, he might be able to run enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, he turns around trying to stun you. Oh, yeah. That's a four. Four? Oh. No! <laughs> Tiff, you take 15 psychic damage and you are stunned. Uh, it's your turn. <laughs> I am <laughs> stunned. Saving throw. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Oh, no. No, no that's a six. You're still stunned. I like that the uh, Ira the, make a wisdom saving throw. Nine. The stun is just a skip card. Uh, you guys might as well just jump two years in the future for Tiff and I. <laughs> 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 oh man. Um, this one right here is terrified of China right now. However, um, it notices that Ira's still stunned and it's like, I have a chance. So it's going to try to get it's gonna attack you, Ira. Now, being stunned, I believe, does he... Um, he gets advantage on his attacks. Gets advantage. Yeah, he just gets advantage. All right. So, bite, bite, claw, claw. Um, 12 and 15. Both of those miss. <laughs> You're stunned and he can't hit you. <laughs> it's like swinging and he's like, no. <laughs> um, it's going to drop to the ground and then just 5, 10, 15. All right, our, oops. Uh, bu- 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 no. All right, it's your turn. Mm. Um, I'm just gonna, is this guy running? Yep. Mm. There's a big ass bush in a tree there. There's not a real way oh, for I, you yeah, to see okay. him. I was just, can I see this one? Yes. Okay, can I, uh, I'm gonna chaos bolt it. Go for it. You have advantage. He's stunned. Oh, it's stunned? Cool. Mm-hmm. Gina. Um, that's a 26 right to eyes. hit. <laughs> 26. <laughs> yeah, 26 to hit. There was the un- unarmed attack that stunned him, too. Just, I want all monk attacks. Monk stunning strikes it to be <laughs> Like, oh, fuck! Why would you do that? Um, um yeah. Roll Give me a second. Guard. I gotta. I gotta. Come. It doesn't jump. Um. Uh, it's twenty-one. <coughs> um. 21. Light, no. Psychic, Lightning damage? Psychic damage, sorry. Psychic, da- psychic damage all around. Damage. You just blow his brains apart. So it's seven. Uh, Gina, it's your turn. Um, She is going. Oh, that guy's dead. Cool. Perfect. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> she steps to here. Yep. Pulls out her gun and just <laughs> fires at him. <laughs> and he's like, I want to live. And you're like, no. No survivors. No survivors. 22. Uh, 
Uh, six damage. You just fucking cap him as he's running. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, ah, ah, just falls to the ground. Holy fuck. And then, fuck. so that was, how, how far did I move this way? I, I was here? No, I was like right next to you. You were here. So. You moved 15 feet. I moved 15 feet, cool. 15 feet, so I have 25 more feet I can move. So here, I can move back to here, I believe. And then um, then I'm going to use <laughs> no survivors. <laughs> I'm coming after you that's running away. Uh, I think it's Step of the Wind. I'm going to um, Dash is uh, bonus action. action Dash is dash. Yep. yep. All right. So then I can move another. I think it's like right there. Boom. All right. Uh, that will be my turn. Uh, that one sees you fucking running after it, and it's just like <laughs> no thanks. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's going to, uh, it's, it's going to run, it's going to run 80 feet from this, in this direction. Whoa. So off, off the map, but currently, but, uh, would but be I'm chasing it. <laughs> 90 feet away from you. Uh, Tiff, it's your turn. Make a wisdom save. A 12. Ah, you succeed. You're no longer stunned. All right. Um, that's your turn. I <laughs> 13. You succeed. You two are no longer stunned. Ari, it's your turn. How far away is this guy? Uh, from you, um, mm -hmm. he would be... Here, let me see. No, I'm not fireballing to death. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kobe oh, right over to uh, him. <laughs> he'd be 125 feet. Oh, oh he is. Okay. Move right there. <laughs> and I chaos bolt him. All right, roll attack. He's just like jumping. He's like going through the trees. He's like running, trying to get uh, away. Ari just like, like curves a fucking chaos bolt like <laughs> through the trees. Um, I almost imagine it's like going, but like yeah, like waggling through the trees as it's going. It's, a, it's twenty-three to hit. Roll damage. Okay, so do, I'm only gonna do second level. No witnesses. Oh. <laughs> uh, it only does it does ten <coughs> cold damage. Ten cold damage. Yep. Well, he's still alive. Aww. Oof. Shoot. Oof. But not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna pull him over here. Just and to Ari's gonna move. Uh, ten. You know, move closer towards her. Uh, Chena. Uh, Chena's keeping at the same pace as it. Okay, I so am, uh, feet as well. Are you guys really it. just chasing this thing through the? Yep. I'm using oh Chena no. To do that, and then I pull out my gun again. My, my gun's still out, and she fires twice <laughs> at it. So Tiff, uh, Ira, you guys watch as Chena like. <laughs> like runs through the, the a bush and like her outline is in the bush and in the distance you just hear like ah, ah, and like <laughs> oh that's a she nine for the first time into the forest shooting him. <laughs> it's a dirty 20 it's a dirty 20 hits, the dirty uh, 20 hits the nine missing <laughs> yeah uh, seven piercing seven seven piercing mm-hmm well, he's mortal. Oh my uh, god! You clipped him. <laughs> oh god, I I I can't keep it. <laughs> I that's it. That's uh, or I I could just end this. I mean, sure, sure. Why not? Let's end this. Uh, action search. Two more shots. <laughs> Well, let's see. You One shot. Fan the hammer up. I think it's just bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Uh, that's a twenty-four to hit. <laughs> hit. Six damage. Still alive. <laughs> then, the, then the second attack is a twenty to oh hit. Oh my Eight god. Bullets in him. Hit. Uh, seven damage. Hey, how do you kill him? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm fan the hammer. The last. It, it, it's, it's literally just like. It's 
kind of a single shot, but she's just so quick with loading and doing it that it's just as if she's fanning the hammer. And just that last hit, that last one just drops it. <laughs> Hits it in the head, it falls out of the tree, lands on the ground, and all of them are dead. My god. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's never been something that we've needed to use, but I could keep up with China. I have my <laughs> fucking boots of speed. I could make my speed 60 and then dash as a bonus action. I'd go 120 feet of dirt. Yeah. Ira's yeah. really just like, oh, we... for the record, I could have kept up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's probably getting ready to, and he sees Sheena pop back up, and he's like, oh, I was going to come fi- find you. Oh, because it died, I get health back. <laughs> oh, I was just oh, going to say, yep. is anyone hurt? Nice. I've got heel hands. Uh, I, I got like a heel couple hands. of scratches, but nothing major. I think they're all dead now, though. Hopefully, I'm at a out of a out of a range of uh, one to eighty-five. I'm at a sixty-nine. Mm, I'm gonna keep you there. Um... <laughs> I'm totally okay. This is even funnier. Right. I'm gonna keep adding on to this. Tiff watches Chino run into the forest, going after the monkey, and you're like, just like waiting, and then you hear bang, and then like your wounds, you're like, oh. <laughs> 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 Tiff's love. A portion of its I soul. love that so much. Tiff wanted to go after that monkey, but now the monkey's dead. <laughs> Tiff, Tiff loves Gina now. Oh. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well. Um. It seems like we're where's the last of them? Yeah. Made quite the example of them, at least. Hopefully. Hopefully they are smart enough not to mess with us if there's any more. Kind of Smoking, melted, some. burned, uh, <laughs> <laughs> capped bodies oh, yeah, don't surrounding step there. you. Don't step on that. That's yeah. That was that, that was quite the thing that you did. Just oh yeah. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. I think we should all agree never to get on each other's bad sides. Yeah, I am known to melt people. I just like. So full the, not just like zoom out, a Sarek staring through a, 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 a pearl. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, what, oh, shit. what is that? Maybe I should just like give up now. <laughs> a little sweat droplet falls onto the crystal. <laughs> just take what you need. Go, go away. I just, I want to live. <laughs> yeah. here, here we go. Here, here's the stuff here. Just <laughs> Be on your way. Should we rest or should we keep going? Oh, what time of day is it? Is your question? Like, it's like noon. Well, it keep probably going. would be a good idea to get away from where the fight took place, the right? Are getting... Yeah. Let them see this place. <laughs> Let them remember. <laughs> Let them remember. Let it be a monument. <laughs> to... They they are a lesson to what happens if you mess with people. The monkey melters. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, we um, did need a party name. I could. <laughs> monkey melters. I could, no, do with the a, pack? I could do with a short That's rest, right. but other than that, That's I right. don't That's have right. a whole lot that I need. Okay, so let's keep going then. All right, you guys take sure. an hour, you short rest, and then uh, continue along your way. And, Am I back uh, at, like, full strength now? Oh, I get, my, I get my singular hit point back. Um, I'm gonna, like... Um, sorry, I'm guys, gonna I'm gonna everything. I'm gonna heal some. Yeah, I'm healing, I'm just doing 2d10. 11. 15, I have five more health points than I had at the beginning of oh, this. Oh, wait, so, do I have? So, uh, nice. 10. There. And we'll sink one more into it. Guys, I have empowered healing if any of you hate your uh, your rolls. What does that do? Um, I can use a sorcery point and you get to re-roll. I think it might be if can I heal you, though. Nope, as long as you're within five feet of me. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't mind it if you don't mind using the point. No. Uh, I don't care. Do I have to else? take the second result? Uh, Is that the trick? You can re-roll any number, so if you have, like, a high one... Don't oh, I'm just going to re-roll one of them, then. Um, cool. That's no longer a one. It's a six now. I'm back up to full power for today, and because everything's a short rest. Uh, but also, Jacob, one thing I've noticed, another change I did not notice before, with Giant Might, um, it, instead of it uh-huh, being back twice full. per long rest, it is four times per, uh, four, four, equal to your proficiency modifier. 
That's awesome. So that's why they've nerfed it a little bit in terms of doing it once per yeah, yeah, yeah. round. So do you want to keep it uh, as per weapon attack or do you, because I can do it more times a day, but- The only reason I don't like it is because it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I agree. It's like, why would you only get a, a, a D6 for one attack when you're, it's because you're large. It's, be, it's because I'm, I agree. That's, I, I agree with that. So that's how mm -hmm. I feel. It's like, I went big. So everything is much heavier than it would have been or larger. Yeah. So if anything, I'd rather just take away the D6 and make all of your uh, attacks a dice level up because everything got bigger. I could see that too. I don't know. It's yeah. I'll it, think about it. It's weird that yeah, that's we're, we're that's honestly it. something that a, a lot of abilities much. do stuff like that where it's like once one attack a turn you get this and it's like all right, <laughs> I guess. Not for enlarge. No, but for enlarge it's also a d4. Um. All right. So it's true though. That. Continue uh, <laughs> down the river, and I believe that's where you guys uh, stopped. Right? Was was here. Um, and that's another day. So that's the end of the second. And now we move on to the third. Uh, go ahead and make that survival check again, Tiff. Could you look at that message that I sent? Yes. I feel like that's like the, in, in this subclass, the thing that they changed the most with is this giant's might ability. That'd be a 19. And we'll probably go this way. Depression, one more down. Insect repellent. One more down. Make in progress. Huh? I said we're making progress. Slowly but surely. I'm assuming we're heading towards there, so probably like that. Well, we have to cross this place, yeah. So. Yeah. That's yeah. Fine. So we had it. It's there. Yeah, I think so. Because we can move 20 miles a day, so. Yeah, and we'll just go straight to where that's at right now. I'll move it there. Let's follow the follow that river. We'll be able to get to that place tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. We should have to figure out how to get across now at that point. Yes. Right. Well, now what was the issue with crossing it? Uh, it's just that there's no bridge and it can be pretty wide in spots. Mm. So it just comes down to how we get across. I think it's I can supposed get... to be fairly treacherous because you said that there was great. I think. We learned that it was had it was a coral, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, so if we can just get across it, ideal because we don't. I don't think I think it'd be very dangerous to try and climb down and then scale back up. How far across is it? Yeah. Um. Well, it was unclear. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be really, really wide at some points and really small at some points. Well, we won't know till tomorrow. And because I can get myself and someone else across as long as it's four hundred. Uh, same. I have to venture door. So same, or five hundred rather. So yeah. So we, we so theoretically we could just each each of you guys cast dimension door and we just cross. Yeah, if ideally, if safe. it is within that space. Yeah, if it is, then I think that might be the safest route, no matter what. Just in case. if it's not, then I don't know what our, our real option is. To, well, because I know right down. here where we're at mm -hmm. is very wide. This is the widest part of it. We can go higher up up here, and then we just cross. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, just this one location is like that. We can get higher up into the jungle. I just want to cross it now if we can. Right. How are you doing, Chino? After your close encounter, you doing all right? Not the first time I've had a close encounter, but that was closer than I would have liked. Yeah, but this is this is a little different, you know. Everything that 
that happens. I'm this is trying this closer to... than anything because if you you go, that's it. I'm trying not to think about it. There, hmm. that makes sense. All right, sorry, I was uh, doing another thing. Uh, what'd you get on your survival check? A 19. 19. Uh, you continue along the river and make your way to uh, this side. As you guys are kind of moving, the river becomes much deeper and deeper. Um, it was once kind of just lapping alongside you guys. Now it is like way, it's like further down in almost like a basin um, as, as you're walking along. And uh, this day comes to an end. And uh, I'm going to leave a moment open for Ari if she wants to uh, talk about a thing that I just said uh, to her yeah. or not. Um, yeah. Um, so um, I got a message to Murray yesterday, and um, he thinks we should return Artis to... Um, water deep as soon as possible, but I don't know if that's the best idea. Return him? Yes. Um, he says he doesn't think he has much time left. Um, uh, and if uh, he dies before we um, stop it, that um, I have to um, take his place and make sure that everything gets fixed and um i i don't know if i can do that um we have to hurry yeah i mean it's strange that returning artists is the thing that he wants to do then because wouldn't stopping The soulmonger problem. Would he consider? Um, I don't know. He considering fi fixing Waterdeep before he he goes, well, and then I, figuring I out asked, the soulmonger afterwards. I asked what was happening in Waterdeep, and he said that nothing good, but not to worry about it. So, I assume things there are much worse than they were when we left, and that's why he's <clears throat> that's why he wants Artis back, so that the giants leave Waterdeep alone. But I think we need artists to um, find the lost city and help us kill um, whatever his name is. The snake guy. Right. Yeah. Roz. Roz. Roz, Roz Nassi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On top of that, I... we don't even know what the giants are planning. No. Yeah, I love my home. Just as much as you guys, but this is affecting the world. Yes, I understand. Mm. I don't think that we should ship artists back to Waterdeep. I think we need him as much as I don't need him. I think the only way we could ship artists back is in a pine box. Yes. I don't think he's um, going to listen. Maybe just let him know. Let him make the decision. He already Whoa. defected from the Harpers. I feel like he doesn't care much for them anymore. All water deep. I think he cares about um, the bigger picture, which is what we care about. I'm not sure that it's that. I think he cares about the bigger picture, but I think... I mean, he didn't he already say that the reason why he was here is because he was looking for someone. Yes, his wife, who we presume is dead. Right. If we are able to bring, to, to stop the soulmonger, then it would give him more time. Or at least we could bring him back, your benefactor. All I know is I need to still go deep into this jungle. I still have crew missing. I'm not going to I agree. Behind. 
Well, I wonder if we could do two birds, one stone. I wonder if there's a way where we can cause more trouble here on the continent to draw their forces here. I mean, we've already killed six or seven of them. I wonder if we should have left someone alive to tell the story. There's a lot more than six or seven. True, but Cholt, where are they going to assault? Port Nianzaru? It has a, a dragon turtle defending it. Do they assault the jungle? The jungle itself will kill them. It might be a way for us to divert their attention, at least. I don't know how we could do, but go about doing that. <clears throat> there is also far less... I have an idea. ...civilization here on the island compared to the mainland. Jacob, we were given... Um... Hey, there's a guy with a motorcycle outside. Um, <laughs> we were given a name of the leader of the giants, were we not? Let me see if I have yes. it in my notes somewhere. I may just have it in my notes I somewhere. It. It's yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was what? Droofy. Droofy? She's a frost maiden, but not that frost mm -hmm. maiden. Okay. I'll still roll that history check because Jacob seems yeah. Go for it. That's what I figured. Um, eight. And eight will gather that you know her name is Droofy. Okay. If I was to write a paper bird to Droofy, would it go to her? You want to try it? I look to everyone else. I could just tell them right now. Our December is here. How fast? Not fast enough. Okay. Not incredibly fast, but not slow. Faster than us actually finishing this task. So if we want to do it even faster, Ari, couldn't you just contact her directly? I think that we need to have a better idea of where this lost city is before we send all these giants. If they send everyone here, it's going to make our task much more impossible, especially if we have artists with us. Plus, it feels like we would just kind of backstab the guy again. I mean, I don't. I'm fine, but with that, but we need to really figure out what, we're, how we're going about this. I'm more concerned with saving the land and saving Waterdeep than I am saving our December. I agree. It sounds like he's backstabbed our city in a way. I don't really believe in the honor among thieves. Oh no, that definitely exists. The problem is he already broke it. Well, we could always lie to them. Tell them that it's somewhere where we might know it is. We could send them to the south. Is it the south? Yeah, to the south of, uh, of the land. To the, the land of ash and smoke. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Omu is the city we're looking for, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, Omu yeah. might actually be down there. <laughs> That's the worst place we could send them. Someone remind me. Um, when we were talking with, uh, God, it's not Syndra. Um, Shadow Mantle. Mm -hmm. She just wants the Soulmonger and Acerac, right? She, she doesn't want the Winged Winter. So yeah, and and her claim is that. They want it. They want it basically to have it. Like they're not going to use it. They just want it to have it. We feel like we could spin that story, and have and make Droofy believe that like the the have her believe that the that uh, the they are after it. If, if we I mean that, that seem connected, that the red wizards are after that the red wizards are after the ring of winter. Yeah, they're here for the. To collect all the artifacts. Maybe we just don't even say just only that. But they're here to collect it all. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Yeah. I'm not against that idea. Much better than having to kill the red wizards when they're... And again, this is me missing pieces of the puzzle. The giants are attacking Waterdeep because they think Artisimber is 
there? No. Or because they know right. they have the resources to get him. Well, neither. Um, mm. We convince them to let us leave to go find Artist Simber. I don't know where they think he is. Part of me thinks that they're all they're all holding out at Waterdeep because they think that he's at Waterdeep, um, and I we just they, they just let us leave specifically because we convinced they knew them. That Artist Simber had connections in Waterdeep, um, so they are probably trying to find any person who's ever met Artist Simber questioning them what if we tell about rosna c they've met each other he knows him mm -hmm. there's a connection at least and it wouldn't be a lie it's going to be the full picture we could do that i'm more than i'm more than okay decide. with deceiving some giants yeah i don't necessarily think we have to decide today either but yeah. think on it for the next uh, as we travel today and then try and go over that gorge tomorrow might be something worth thinking about because we have a lot of enemies and artists unfortunately is included in that we might be able to just tie them all up and they'll mm -hmm. sell all of them down hopefully i i would probably consider artists more neutral i i don't want i don't want to involve him if we don't have to but i'm willing to absolutely i don't necessarily want to give the giants their ring back e exactly i would rather drag them somewhere that he's not going to be Mm -hmm. because if he gets caught up then there's a chance that the giants get what they want we could also just send them to fort Balerian. i feel like they'd resolve that too quickly that's true if, if all of the giants showed up i'm pretty yeah. sure everyone at the fort would die in a day well i mean that's where we got the information from right about him we could just send them there they not the information they know more about I, mean, I feel like we'd just be leading them i feel like the information we'd give them would be more than they would get at fort Polarian anyway right um you'd say that we've seen him what is we saw him kill their group of giants and that we're tracking him to this lost city of omu what is the valley of dread <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> it's on the, the southeast of the map. Oh, here? Yeah. Um, Jacob, can I do a roll for that? Sure can. What do you need from a history? Yep. Ah, uh, sorry. Ten. Um, well, you get some limited information. Um, the only thing you know is that it's a very dense jungle. It's very uninhabited, and it's a stomping ground for dinosaurs. And uh, mm. lizard folk. It's a little bow in the sticks. Um, not much travels out there besides the natural inhabitants of the forest. Giant dinosaurs and lizard men, which are non-negotiable. We could send them out there. It's an option. Absolutely. That's, that's pretty far away from anything we're doing. Really, I think anything on the east side of the jungle or close to Nangalore is going to be good. They'll have to deal with the undead. They'll have to deal with the natural environment. Think on it. I think so. No reason to make a decision now. I assume you guys uh, kind of camp out, head to sleep um, on a night of thought and worry. Um, but you guys wake up the next day and um, prepare your travel through the gorge. Do we see the gorge from where we're at? Or, um, we'll, or, or will we today? It's, okay. it's about halfway through your day of travel. So as you continue along, and I, I won't make you roll for this, at about 3 p.m., uh, you guys do see it. Um, and as you guys get uh, closer and closer towards it, let me go ahead and... Sneeze. Listen. Am I breathing into my mic? That might just be me. <laughs> that was pretty well, quiet there for a little while. I'm just like. <sighs> yeah, back it up, dude. I was just noticing I could hear one person. I could hear someone doing it, and I'm like, whoever can't hear it is the person doing it. So, getting, like, there, is it like the, it's like, like the resistance? 
yeah. like that. Yeah, Mike, I, I, I've out also out. noticed the past like couple of like other live games too. I, I saw someone. Well, one of those, those was me. That. Because I, I was having my mic real close because I was having issues with the gain yes. on it and people yeah. were hearing me breathe. But yeah. this time I'm like, it's far away from me. I know it's not me. <laughs> I'm watching the meter not go yeah, up. I'm like this far from my mic, so I'm assuming it's not me. <laughs> Who's pointing it out? Chat or you guys? Uh, someone, a few, like one or two people pointed out in chat and then I was if like... If I can't hear it, it's Oh, I can me. hear it. I think we're good. <laughs> Okay, so you guys get to uh, the basin, and uh, as at about 3 p.m., as I'm quickly going through uh, notes and stuff, um, you uh, you guys kind of come over and you uh, uh, break a like a tree, um, the tree line, and it's just this cliff that goes down and then slopes to about maybe you know like a I don't know angles. Um, it's a walkable angle, but it's it's pretty steep as as you guys kind of mm -hmm. go down. Um, and it as you look down, the walls are like painted all the way down, and it, it, it like goes down towards like um, uh, the water. Um, and as it gets closer to the water, the water is just this trickle. It's no long. It's no longer than maybe like 20, 30 feet. Um, and there's just coral everywhere. It's this rainbow of, of coral all over uh, this basin. And um, it, it's, it immediately takes you back, China, to the um, to Salt Marsh, especially the Sahuagin Fortress. Mm -hmm. it's, it looks like it should be all underwater. It's this seascape um, mm -hmm. that is just risen out of this, this, uh, this little gorge. Um, and there's paintings all along the sides of it of like different sea life, um, different, um, uh, uh, you, you can't even, you're not even really sure what some of them are. You see like giant sharks, you see, um, uh, uh, you see uh, dinosaur paintings along the sides on both sides. Um, and it's, it's, it's beautiful. Well, it certainly feels a lot more at home. And as you look down, you start to notice it. Um, it's uh, it looks like it's going to be a bit difficult to cross, as um, the uh, it, it get it does get pretty steep, and then it's just coral. And as you guys kind of peer down and look, you do see quite a few skeletons in the coral. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um. How far across is uh? The other How side. far is it? Yeah. Um, it's maybe half a mile. Ah, crap. <laughs> yeah, it's quite the distance. You can't just use your trick, I guess. No fancy tricks this time. I have a fancy trick this time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh gosh. What I thought about it. Um, I could turn into something very large. Oh. And then fly across. That's true. Like a you can do bird. this. Yep. It's a very good trick. Remember when I turned that, is... that snake into a roach? Mm-hmm. I mm. can do that to myself. Oh yeah, let me threw it in that bottle. Mm-hmm. It's not a bad idea. Oh my goodness, we could chain. We could chain this. <laughs> this looks so stupid. I can't do it to all of us. Oh no. <laughs> You could turn into a big bird and fly across, and in case anything wants to hit us, I could turn three of us invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Just Gina floating across. <laughs> T-posing. <laughs> I can go the distance. <laughs> I'd almost say if you want to um, turn people invisible, it might be better to leave the big the big Ari visible and the rest of us invisible oh here's an interesting really... wait wait here's an interesting question if if someone's invisible do they obscure other people still or do they become see-through they become see-through <laughs> I was hoping we could obscure one of us with I mean, everyone uh, else. If I'm holding you guys and you cast it on me, you're invisible. That's how invisibility works. 
Oh yeah, anything the target is wearing or carrying. If I'm carrying, it does say anything, and not. Oh my lord. Oh, Remember the invisible boat you know what's great? We were you know holding great? it, it's, so it so turned the invisible. The terms of invisibility oh. is uh, Ari can hold Ira's hand, but he won't become invisible. But if Ari holds Ira in her arms, then they both become invisible. <laughs> <laughs> If you piggyback Ari, then you get to be invisible. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's I, I think it's a really good plan. I like that. Does that all mean right, you only have to it. cast it on, on, on I only Ari, have to then. cast it on Ari as long as we're all on on her back before I cast it. All right. Well, let's we can give it a try. All right. We've long rested, right? Yes. yes. Cool. So uh, tell me exactly what you're doing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, Jacob, in semantics. Waterdeep, <coughs> there's the Griffin Calvary. Yeah. Can I turn into a Griffin or not? No? A, not an animal. It's not an animal? Not a beast. Oh. Griffins are monstrosities. Oh, poor baby. Yeah. <laughs> um. What's something that's large enough that I could turn into? A giant eagle. A giant eagle? Yep. Okay, well, I'll turn into a giant eagle. That's true. <laughs> Ari is now a giant eagle. Okay. All right. I'll, I mean, I'll... Close I'll... enough to a, to a griffin. Get on Ari's <laughs> back. All right. You go over. You get on the back of the giant eagle. Um, you're oh, like the only well. one that can fit on, on, oh. on her back. But I have two claws. You sure do. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, China, easy. Tiff, that's a chunky That's a chunky baby. So... I was about to say, if you want to, you can take them first and I'll stay. You're an eagle. You can't say anything. You can say caca. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, giant oh, eagle! Goes. Giant eagles! Sorry, giant eagles speak giant eagle. Thanks, yeah. and they understand yeah. common. I didn't know that. Oh, That's cool. Understand, but can't say. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say if you were anything else, Tiff would be going. Wah, 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 wah. I just, I just love, <laughs> I just love that their language is giant eagle. Giant eagle. Yeah. yeah. Like, is that a language I can pick to speak? No, you're not a giant eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, Ari. So you're gonna fly China over with uh, with uh, uh, Ira on your back. I mean, then I'll I'll do the whole invisibility thing. That was kind of the point of this. Okay, you uh, you cast invisibility. Oop. The three of you are invisible, um, and a giant eagle strength is sixteen. Mm -hmm. um, how much do you weigh, Ira? Uh, I actually might have this in my description. Um, with all of his gear, um, he's about. Uh, 210. Alright, and Sheena? Me. Okay, so. He's a lanky boy. Uh, 170, 180, about? Okay. Is that, uh, so, I assume that's with all your gear? That's with the gear. I have 52 pounds of gear, and I am 132 pounds. So. See, See, I have a bag of holding, so all I have to do is add the bag of holdings weight to my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have that. Okay, so... Uh, Ari, you can do it. Uh, yeah, you can do it, but you're slow as fuck. <laughs> you're, hey, can I... Can I You're ask you a question? You're literally at, uh, I believe, at uh, uh, only 40 feet, and you have an 80-foot fly speed. I, 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 need, I have a question, if I could. Mm -hmm. um, what was... Because I know, I know we learned what it was, and I put it in my notes uh, for the item, but it didn't save it. That 8th level spell scroll, what was it of? Um, maze. Maze? Thank you. Yeah. Born. So, uh, you guys... <laughs> <laughs> fly off tiff you see nothing and you just realize if they die you have no idea <laughs> and... i should exploit curse storm them <laughs> <laughs> tiff you're like i'll stay here and i'm like man i hope i built enough trust with them because i could just get <laughs> fucking left here <laughs> um did i get enough hearts you fly up over the coral china ira you guys have this beautiful sight below you of of all the coral kind of going past it's all dead but um and then the um 
uh, the river kind of moving along and all the paintings. And eventually, after about a minute or so, um, Ari gets to the other side and drops you guys down. Um, on the other side of the, the, of the gorge. I'm going to stay on Ari's back um, because I can then make Tiff invisible too. Okay. I'm awfully heavy. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Incredibly heavy. So I assume you fly to the other side. Um. Sure. No. We'll just see how to this find. goes. <laughs> and you make it to the other side. Tiff, mm -hmm. you wait like 10 minutes and then you hear <laughs> next to you and you're like, holy fuck. It's a relief and it frightens me. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and drop the invisibility there. Okay. Um, and get ready to recast it. How much do you weigh, Tiff? Uh, nearly 300 pounds. <laughs> what the awesome. fuck? How much, yeah, how much yeah, of that yeah. is gear? Because I can only a hundred. Uh, I can. Was... It's a big. Bitch. I can stuff that hundred. Yes. <laughs> I can stuff that hundred pounds in the bag of holding. Yeah. If you want to, uh, Tiff is one eighty. It'll be and a pain in the butt to get. It'll be a pain in the butt to take it all out because I'll take out one piece at a time. But mm -hmm. you know that's uh, that's a good point. I actually don't know if it counts my hellbird's weight. Oh yeah, not, not that like really matters. Pounds, it yeah, yeah. Matter. So I, I'm kind of a lot of shit. <laughs> if you want to, Tip like dumps out her backpack. All right, so here's like, what we're gonna do pots first. And pans and like Ari, a refrigerator are you, that comes out. <laughs> Ari, are you capable of carrying both of us without um, Tiff putting all of her stuff in a bag? <laughs> You want to try? I'll, I'll like reach up. <laughs> um, roll a strength check. Da, 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 da. Not over the gorge, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll give I'll give uh, Eagle uh, Ari an inspiration for this. A D six. Yeah, it's a D six. Add it to your roll. You have a plus three because you're an eagle. Twelve. Well, oh. it's, a, it's not below 10 so you do it oh. uh, <laughs> you uh fly across the gorge it's a it's a little hard but you're able to get to the other side um and uh and land and everybody made it across congratulations and i will revert back to uh ari okay um you guys can now pick one more hex uh to travel through uh. So that was Don't just go up. Much go this way. Well, yeah, because we can follow the yes. gorge, right? And that'll kind of keep yeah. us knowing where we're going, at least. Yep. All right. Um, and that's the end of that day. It is now the fifth. The fourth. It's the fifth. That was it's, the fourth. No. The fourth. It's what? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um travel for two more you get two more hexes you're going into unknown territory at this point so go ahead and make uh, that survival check again and i'm gonna delete this um very crude drawing of the river 22. yeah so can you remove your 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 things Oh, I don't think it really matters. I've been forgetting to add my bonus this entire time. Those oh, are just straight good. rolls. Um, oh my with, goodness. Like, with, 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 with like guidance and stuff. That's uh, it's 28. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you follow along the river um, as it kind of moves against you. And you guys are kind of, um, you're, you're moving up in, uh, in elevation um, at this point, And you're kind of getting closer and closer. Um, way off in the distance though, uh, you guys uh, can see that you're getting to more um, like open areas of the jungle. It's getting less dense. Um, and uh, you can also hear uh, a river uh, coming up closer towards you. But you guys head to sleep, wake up the next day. Um, now it's the fifth. No, it's the fourth. Shut the fuck up. The fourth <laughs> forever. Um, and uh, go ahead and make that survival check. Guidance. Thank Guidance. You. And uh, just tell me the two um, uh, uh, hexes you want to go through. 
uh, 17. And ideally, I think we're going to go... Because like, I'm going to follow the river, so I can't really see it as long as I can. So if it goes like that, then I'm going to go like so I'm gonna do this, this up here. I'm going to show you real quick. Okay, um, then I'll go forward. Move the, the river... Uh, is it underneath it? Uh, it is. So okay, then... Notice, it, oh, I see. It does, it does come up like that. Okay, then if I would have seen that, I would have gone this way then. Okay, so you're just going to continue to follow the river. Yeah, as long as I can to... Oh, I see. I'm going to go ahead and do this just to make it easier. Oh. Okay, then I guess at that point, if the river's not like crazy or anything, she would cross it. It's wide. Okay, then, um, she, she, then she'll cross it, and then we'll begin following the river on the left side. Okay, so you guys are going to cross a river. This is a thing that we have to do. Um, how are you crossing it? How it's wide is maybe it? Maybe 150 feet in width. I should have got the folding boat. <laughs> I'm, gonna grab, I'm gonna grab Chena and go. Do you trust me? <laughs> oh, did you say it's like about that? Not really. Feet? Oh, do you want to like physically hold you? I can. Do you want to get in? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just trust me. Just go. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed and I'll let you do whatever you're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna scoop her up and I'm gonna dimension door across. You go through the cape and you appear on the other side. I'll put her and down. Ira, Ira is, you tell for the other side, you can still hear Ira laughing. Ira is dying thing. at the, <laughs> the alternate potential meaning of, oh, do you want me to hold you differently? Here, you wanna get in. And he, he is just, the worst possible way he could have taken that is how he took that. <laughs> <laughs> Same with Colton. He is amazing. Well, I want to be wooed too. How how are you gonna get me across? <laughs> we both know that you're the one. That I'm can just kidding. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> uh, I'll bamp us across too. How how doth thy bamp? Um, well, do I need to hold him? Cause I I'm, I'm weak. Uh, I'm if weak it's across. dimension door, all you gotta <laughs> no, do is I just take no, his you hand. hold his hand. Yeah. <laughs> You're too heavy. Well, you guys go through the dimension door and make your way on the other side. Um, Screw and... your uh, river crossing rolls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you can teleport, it's fine. Um, are you going here, Tiff? Uh, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have crossed whenever it was safer to do so, and then we'll follow the river on the <laughs> hey, left guys, side. Hey, when, guys, when Tiff and, and Chena crossed oh. together, they created a ship by crossing oh. the river. Yeah, wow. that was great. Okay, uh, the river is um, the river has failed us, so I'm just gonna go. Whichever, <laughs> one of these ways has failed us. All right, that's the end of this day. That's the end of the fifth. It is now oh, uh, the sixth. Where are you traveling today? Make another uh, survival check. Sorry, one more second. I'm eating and spraying know, myself yeah. with stuff. Um, uh, Tiff, oh. um, how many days of rations do you have still? Damn it. I got six. Okay. You need some more? Um, hopefully we can get to Umbala before I have to worry about okay. that. Uh, today's going to be rocky because it's an 11 with the d20, <laughs> with guidance, with the plus four. Okay. So. Also, can I just say, I just realized I kind of, I kind of love the, uh, development that's happened over the last two years with these characters. Um, speaking of Ira and Ari. Because if Ari had said that before, how am I going to get wooed to cross? Ira would have fumbled over himself trying to figure something out. And now he's just like, we both know you're the one that can do this. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Lost the magic in the, in the marriage. No. <laughs> no, it's just different now. <laughs> All right. So as you guys are walking, uh, you head forward um, as you're moving your way along. And uh, you continue um, further and further upwards. Um, as far as you know, you're going upwards and you guys find clearings, you find hills. It's much like how it looked in Kursabal once again, these big open plains. Oh my um, God, we uh, can see where we're going, guys. You can see where you're going. And uh, one of the things you notice as you're going along, you get to like the top of one of the hills is you see way off in the distance in the direction that Mbala is supposed to be, uh, you guys see uh, this. And I'm gonna send it into to, uh, the Discord if you guys are up in there. Up in there. Up in there, up in here. Up in here. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, like a plateau. It's a big plateau way off in the okay. distance. And uh, what direction is that in? That's a northwest. Northeast. Northwest. Northeast. It's northeast. So is that in Bala? No, that's no. a plateau. No, I have no idea. 
<laughs> well, I don't know what Imbala is. I just um, know that it's on the map. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I rolled terribly high for it last time. Do I know if this is what the structure is built upon or Roll built in? survival again, Tiff. Um, okay. I'm going to throw you a... Hey, maybe there's something in the back of your mind that is going to you know, be jarred loose by thinking about it again. Have an extra D6. No, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm... I'm rolling real terrible with it now. Uh, that's 13. Um, by all your calculations down by on on your map, that's that's where it should be. Okay, that I will say. After never never being here, um, and looking at my map, I believe that would be the closest structure. And if I would be to have a structure and a civilization in the middle of the jungle, that's probably where I'd put it too. You nice. know, that makes so much more sense than I thought it would at the at the moment of you saying it. <laughs> That's great. All right. Then I suppose we should head in towards that large rock. Yeah, it's going to be down. Make your way down one of the hills. You can't really see it anymore as you're kind of moving your way along. Um, uh, kind of heading in that direction. You meet the tree line again and a push offwards. Um, and no. you are met by another river. <laughs> Shit. Uh, your turn. I'm gonna give Chino one of those, like. You know, you I have to hold me up. I probably up? have. No. Yes, no, that's a complete requirement of the spell. Everybody roll survival. Oh. Except for Tiff. Oh, I'm good. 13. Okay. Dive in. 10. 10. 7. Um, what'd you get, Ira? 13. 13. All right. You guys are at the river. Oh, Here we thinking go. about it, looking one way and the other, is there a spot where the river seems to uh, 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 thin up, or where there seems to be like a like a rock, like you know, you know, like kind of how, kind of the, there were like the places that we crossed when we went backpacking, where there were like rocks and stuff in the water, nope. and we could cross like that. No, there's nothing. Um. Is there a way to tell how deep this river is? How fast it's running? It looks uh, yeah. exactly the same. And as you notice, because you specify, um, it's running from uh, from left to right. So it, looks ex- wait, it looks exactly the same? Yep. Have we turned around? Are we going the wrong way? If you look up, yeah. Mm, as in, like, we're heading this way now? I see. Mm. I think so. I think I may have not turned around. Wait, I'm does that mean first. that plateau is this way? Oh, no. The plateau is, on the, is still in the right direction. We just can't see it anymore because we're in the trees You guys again. were literally traveling, went up a hill. Oh, down, I see. Somehow oh, I went see. backwards, and we're like, okay, what? <laughs> I see. The, 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 those didn't happen simultaneously. No. We saw the plateau traveled and then got lost. Okay. Yeah. Then yes, I think I did. May have turned us around. Oh, you okay. guys can go one more hex. Hey, this is the first time that that's ever happened with us, right? Yeah. yeah um, let's nice. just nice. go back this way, and then try and get that plateau again. Right. It's right there. Do so. You guys make your way over. You kind of avoid. You stay more in the jungle, and it's like a, you're pretty sure you're going the right direction. Sun goes down. It's uh, uh, you guys long rest again. It is now the seventh. And go ahead and make another survival check. With seven, Gosh. seven. I would love to give you a bardic inspiration, but this is like um, one of the few times that it doesn't really can, make sense because you're doing it through like the can whole I ask day. For that we go into break right now because I've seen my. Dad is saying that he's going to turn our internet off for a second. Oh, so, uh, sure, yeah. Let's. I go mean, on that's break. a pretty important reason. <laughs> we'll be right yes, back, everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, I didn't see any donations, but I saw some people sub and uh, follow. So thanks, guys. Get some of that dank G fuel while we're on break. Code Fireball, right? And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Yep. Um. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit.
Oh my god, we're back. Hello, everyone. Uh, we we just zoomed right in here, so uh, <laughs> let's get back into the game. So you guys have long rested. Um, it is the next day. You guys have two more hexes of travel that you can take um, with a su hopefully successful survival check. So, Tiff, go for it. Guidance. Oh, uh, well, hail. Hang on. <laughs> oh well, hail. We also have a card. I was about to say, can I use that? Can. 
Let's you have do a card it. on roll 20. Just pull that one, whatever it is. This one. What is that? Uh, I don't know how to make I stole it. it. How did I steal it? Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Let it go. Oh. There you go. Oh, there it is. I stole it. It's mine. Here, it's, it's, a, my, it's a queen. That'll be a 20 then. Awesome. I think it's mine. Fire hammer, stop trying to steal my car. <laughs> um, all right. I so, don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, pick, uh, move to the hex you want to move into. Ideally, you wouldn't go this way. Okay. I'm stealing your card. Oh no. Mbala oh, no. is gone. Oh no. Oof. I deleted it. It just disappears. <laughs> the, the entire city is just gone. Room. Oh no. <laughs> it's the homie. Bella gone. Rest in peace. <laughs> All right. Um, there you go. So uh, you can, um, you guys can now, as you're getting much closer, um, come to the base of, of where Mbala is. And as you're following, and as you're getting closer, and as you are following your map, uh, I'm going to send you a picture in uh, the, in, into uh, Discord once more. So this is basically what you guys see. Mm -hmm. And I mean that'll be your next day of travel. You you're aware that this uh, this plateau has to be the location of wherever this Mbala is. Okay. And we can see the plateau at this point. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, just like we're, we're 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 looking at like the sheer there. wall, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we have so to I guess that's how to next... get up it now. Or yep. if there's an entrance around it, we might have to spend a day encircling it. That's true. Or is it the seventh or the eighth? It's the seventh. Okay. But um, that's tomorrow's problem. Tomorrow's problem? Mm hmm Yeah, we do have to figure out how they get in. I, I can only assume there's some kind of underground entrance or chiseled village in the wall. I just don't know. But tomorrow, that'll be our objective is trying to get into this thing. Maybe it's at the top. It could be. But that'd be some way for them to get up there. I mean, we could always yeah. do uh, Ari's trick again and just fly around it. I forgot how to fly. Never mind. We'll Can walk. you remember by tomorrow? <laughs> Ari. <laughs> Good try. Okay. Ari learned, uh, Ari learned tackle and forgot. Can I, <laughs> can, I, eagle. can I ask you a question, Ari? Do you forget it or does the Duck King just make you forget it and give you something else? Bit of both. I get some to sit, some sit away in what I get. But okay. Sometimes things seem better in the moment than they end up being. Right. All right. So you guys do long rest right out, kind of uh, <coughs> a couple hundred feet away from the plateau. Um, it is now the eighth. Hey Tiff. And you guys yes. get up the next day. Could I have? Could, could, could I have one of those rations, please? Oh, yeah, of course. I, I, I had my last one last night. There you go. You yeah, have this I'm going to be hungry soon, too. Thank you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> maybe, maybe Viridia will be so so kind as to remind you how to make food. Yeah. That one's so uh. fun. Um... <laughs> no, it may not be fun, but it keeps us alive. Mm. I still have five rations, so I, I can keep two. us. I can keep it going for a little bit longer. I've had to. I've been running low, on, so low on rations ever since we made that long journey around the island. Mm -hmm. I had to forego my rations for so long. And we haven't been back in civilization since the stuck up. Pretty mm -hmm. much. So, you guys, um, make your way closer towards uh, the plateau. I assume, and as you get over towards it, you're. Uh, it becomes a lot clearer at this point. A 1,800-foot-high plateau with sheer cliffs rise up above heaps of boulders, large as ships. A narrow path is cut into the cliff face and seems to climb all the way to the top. Oh. However... Yep. <laughs> however, yeah. However, <laughs> yeah. However, I was to I was going to say, however, you will need climbing kit, but that's not true. That I, I'm wrong. <laughs> 
Uh, okay. Mm. And it's basically it like zigzags. You can see it like go up and then like and like zigzag through the entire thing. I suppose that's no the way up. How long it's gonna take to to walk up that thing? I think so. That's our that's our way to do it. Let's go mm. then. Unless anyone has any other ideas other than just climbing this trail. Um. No, I don't think I have any of those. No ideas. Good as well. So it takes you guys an hour to like find the the uh, where it starts because it doesn't start right where you guys are. It, you can see it kind of zigzagging down, but it's like we have to follow it. So you guys walk all the way like around to the north side of the plateau. It takes about like two hours, and you find the beginning of it. And um, its uh, its width is about five feet. Um, you're fi- you're just like wall here, and as you're climbing, it's just a sheer fall. Um, into into death uh, on your left. Oh, so who? What's, what, you guys have to be in a, in an order. You can't stand next to each other. What what is your walking order? Um, I don't mind being first. Okay, I was thinking about going first too. Since so you can the be the first thing, go, in, but and then first too. I can go in the back to make sure nothing comes at us from there. Let me go in the front then. Because yep. I can um, not be surprised. So, so yep. Tiff, China, Ari, me. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Give me one it moment. Also allows me to make sure Ari doesn't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Ari, we go. <laughs> you just see a couple rocks fall. You're like, oh, well, I guess she's gone. Rip. Uh, give me one moment. Um, no. <laughs> what the fuck does maize do again? Do you want a maize? Makes corn. Yeah. Like cornmeal. Oh, I love corn <laughs> so much. Your bones will wet my corn. Mm. Every time I hear corn, I think of that stupid meme. I just think of Corin. Do we feel like we should be tying ourselves together? I was thinking that, but what if one of well, you then if one of us falls, strong enough the to... mist of the jungle is getting further away. You can barely see the ground. As one of us fall, if one of us falls, then the rest of us might fall, though. Mm-hmm. One goes, we all go. In that case, um... so <clears throat> then none of us would be around to finish the mission and mm-hmm. yeah, rescue that's, the rest. That's exactly the issue. The path continues upwards, takes switchbacks here and there. Um, there are points where you guys have to like, you go in and then you have to turn around and climb and start going up the other way. Um, and I guess we, we, we could do sets of two. Sorry, we're still considering. That's uh, fine. Just describing what it's like walking yeah. up this whole thing. So um, how long do you think that it would take someone to like, just go straight up? Um, how tall did you say it was, Jacob? 1,800 feet. To fly? Mm -hmm. About a minute, maybe? Minute two? Too long. Probably about half that to fall, not a quarter. Oh. Um, 30 seconds? Yeah, okay. Um, uh, Maybe a little more than that. I think I could make us all fly. <laughs> New. I'm definitely tying myself to Gina. I, I think <laughs> I can teleport us both. So you always hold on to that just in case we all fall down. Um. Oh, we I would, could do that. We could tie the two people that can cut, like Ari and Tiff, to one of us, so that I, if I fall, I should be generally fine. Dimension door. Or, or, or at least I can break my fall oh. easier. Something flies past you guys. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Like, like down? And no, it came up and past you. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna get shoved off. Do I um, get a Tiff, chance to see what it is? Tiff, did, to see what they Tiff are. did you tie me? Oh, Craig froze? Yes. Oh, he's back. You did? <laughs> Unless you didn't want that. Uh, she'll say no. It's up to you. I mean, I have to ask oh. consent. Uh, I'll pass on it. Uh, I got a dirty 20. Uh, 26? Sure. 
Are we uh, perceptioning these things? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't really want to. We're perceptioning them. Perceptioning. You see uh, oh, oh, that's a 16. 18. Uh, unfortunately, they're just so fast, you can barely see them. Um, the three of you, though, get a pretty good look at them. A, a look at their shape. They have pointed heads, um, eyes up here, mm. long wingspans, green, um, uh, like a dark brown and green kind of body. Um, you guys can check the uh, roll 20 to see what they look like. Oh. Mm. We were told about terror folk. Would that be what these are? Okay, okay. Whatever you said, question. Jacob, it didn't go through. Correct. Okay. It's the pterodactyl from um, Land Before Time. <laughs> so, are these guys dangerous? And that's it. There was like one that went by, and then like three more went by, and they're gone. Think it's me. So they don't seem to be like well, aggressive to us in any way yet? Seemed like it. They just flew past you. Okay. Well, I'm not going to speak for them. All they did was fly past you. Right. Well, aggressive so in the sense of know. like aggressive in the sense of like they're not turning around to come at us. They're, they, it was like boom, they were there and then they were gone. You have no idea what their intentions are. You guys wait for a couple minutes, they don't come back. They probably do. Do I know that terror folk are the, the folk, right? So that they are sentient, they can speak. Yes. I would just make sure that that's conveyed at some point. Um, and they don't speak terror folk. You know that they speak common. And um, okay. they're often called a uh, uh, terror folk. Oh. They're, they're people of, 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 of a sort. They can be negotiated with and talked with. Okay. To be honest, this may be the majority of... What's up here? Yeah. I would say this, is, this would probably be who would be right. living here. Sense. It would make sense. Yeah. The, the height. Let's keep going, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna get attacked by them. Climbing, as you do the. Um, do we uh, want to fly? I could make a fly. Um, I'm a little bit more nervous about that. If those guys are flying around, they I may see us too. and think right. that we're a threat. Last ditch effort then. Y yeah. You guys get to a point where like there's boulders and tangled roots that block the path and you guys have to go over and kind of like shove them and move them and like heave a boulder off the side of the mountain in order for you guys to pass um and you continue upwards um and as you guys kind of like slowly get upwards and further upwards um the mist begins to break the path gets a lot wider and way off in the distance you guys can see a lot of stuff um and that's about that's about after three hours uh, oh. of of going could go have a small are, conversation are nearing the top at this point sorry what okay i just wanted to have a small conversation before we did yep. crest the top um he says we're walking so what is our plan here i'm clearly the plan is to get them back are we spent to are we going to buy them back if they've already been sold into slavery we're going to be aggressive uh, what is our tone we're going to set I think that would depend upon playing it by ear. If okay. it seems like if it seems like we can be aggressive, I would rather not have to I'd rather not take kindly to slavers, but if it's if we go in aggressive and then all of us just get killed and they get killed, then it's not worth it. Okay. I just wanted to see what kind of tone I was gonna set. That's how I would play it, but... Reminds me of an old story. Oh? Oh yeah, this guy sold his friends into slavery because he didn't want these slavers to kill him and his friends. And then later he came back and killed the people he sold into slavery. And then he was incredibly rich from selling his friends into slavery. Um, and then he had his friends again. Mm. What it story was me. this? Yeah. Uh, it's called like Ember Guys or something. I don't really remember. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it doesn't really right. necessarily bode well for us then. Uh, Hopefully. No, it does not. Ember Guys, huh? Okay. <laughs> 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 so, if we have to fight, we'll fight. But if we don't have to fight, we shouldn't? Yes. 
I think it seems to be the okay. what who we believe to, anyway. Who wants to take the lead here? And Tiff, Gina. I mean, if we decide that we want to use the idea that they were taken, we could. It'd mean a lot if the captain spoke. Right. But I could also be the guide. It's up to you. I think again. I. Wow, that's a lot that we've discovered. Um, oh, because oh, we're so oh, high up. Huh? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm getting there. Whenever you, we, whenever we, you guys are done with your conversation. We've been yeeted. <laughs> um. Um. I. S- I follow would your say lead. I am not going to be the one. I I, I feel like. If anyone, I wish would be the one taking the lead in terms of the in terms of negotiations. Oh boy. If it comes to that, I you're, can do the, that. you're the one that can talk much better than we can. But if it comes to it, I will initiate the the fight. Is that something we can agree upon? Just mm-hmm. make sure that I've completely failed before you uh, start a fight. If, I... if you're going to. You know I can be fairly calm when it comes to it. It's a, I'm, I'm a, I am a slow burn, not an explosion. And not to, to dissuade the choice, because I, I believe Ira is probably our best option. Um, I am fairly competent at speaking as well. I may seem it, I seem not, but I, I, I could probably hold a conversation with Ira as well. If you guys want to take the lead, then definitely be good backup, because I don't know too much about these these people. Uh, I, I am good. Myself. I'm good at keeping people online, but I don't think that will come in handy in this case until okay. until it's the last second. Then let's get up there and see what we see, and I'll let Ira do As the talking. As you guys uh, get higher and higher upwards, uh, you can. Oh, I deleted something really important. Hang on, of course. Give it back. <laughs> Give it back. There it is. Oh. Uh... <clears throat> As you guys get higher and higher, you can see almost everything around in the jungle. Um, you can see really far distances of places that you uh, you think you know the location of. Um, places like. Uh, Oralunga, you can see it way off in the distance. You guys see um, uh, it's uh, it's a ziggurat, this massive ziggurat nestled into the jungle um, that would be the location of Oralunga. You can see the river way off in the distance, and just below you, there's a huge basin all the way over here that um, uh, uh, right below Mbala. Uh, can everybody roll a perception check? Go oh, my passive. With my passive too. Okay, which is sixteen. Mine 16. is written my, seventeen. Oh, my, mine is not written in anymore. Natural twenty. Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah, 20. lucky me. I'm terrible right. at this kind of stuff. You guys see way off in the distance on this X, a floating heart-shaped island. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a win. That's a win. That's big. And because yeah. you guys, because Tiff rolled so well, you also see way out here on this X, you see um, uh, it looks like a ship in nestled into the trees, like a boat, way on this X over here where it says Wreck of the Star Goddess. And mm. uh, you guys, you guys see this floating over here. You guys see the basin and everything. That's and, huge. Uh, you also see the camp vengeance, camp righteous, um, uh, and uh, the ziggurat way off in the corner over there. Um, jungle just spans on for miles and miles. This is a big win. Just, just coming up here. And I mean, you all are stopped for a moment of just the sheer 
beauty of this place. It's just this flowing green um, uh, uh, jungles that move on into this opening of this basin, which is all of these orange and blue uh, kind of mixing colors, um, uh, the mountains in the distance with the mist surrounding them. Um, you're taken away by, by the presence of Cholt in this moment. And after a couple of minutes, you guys make it to the top of Mbala. Well, what does the top look like? I will tell you. Turn around and it's all the... Turn terrible. around. No, like actually turn around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, as you guys kind of reach the top, the stone steps emerge onto the top of the plateau beneath a once grand but now decrepit wooden gateway. The gates that sealed this entrance are rotted away. Only their rusted iron hinges and reinforcing bands remain. In their place are heaps of human skulls, picked clean of all the flesh that bleached white by the sun. They grin up at you from the roadway and down from the top towering mounds. Hmm. That does not bode well. Well, nowhere to go but forward, right? You guys continue forward. Um, and as you get off the steps, you kind of have to wade through the skulls um, and kind of push past them as you get upwards. Um, or you can go around the gate. So the um, mounds are in the way of the gate, or? Yeah. And there's so many of them that you would have to push through them. Or you can go around the gate. There's nothing stopping you from that. Hmm. It's like that critical role thing with the chair in the room. <laughs> I don't know if we're paying too much attention to that. I just kind of want to. The four of you. Stay yeah, it's stunned. <laughs> just... <laughs> around the gate then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, why don't you go around? I, I just... You guys go around it. And as you walk, you are now beyond the gate. Woo! <laughs> Most okay. tense moments in the whole campaign. Level up! <laughs> <laughs> Level up, yeah. <laughs> the stairs of leveling up. <laughs> there is evidence of like a wooden palisade that was maybe once here that surrounded this maybe like village that was once here, but it's gone. There are structures of wood and thatch, but you can only make out that that's what was once here with maybe a wall still standing. Most of the crumbling compost and uh, have just been destroyed by rain, wind, and time. There's the makings of a road, but it's gone. There are the makings of buildings, stone foundations, everything. But it's just nothing. There's nothing here. There's a lot of debris, though. Well, this, this is was foreboding. way more than just a simple village. This was probably the seat of, like, a kingdom. But it's it's all been destroyed. The only happen? structure structure still intact is a lone hut, thousands um, of yards southwest of the gate, at the edge of what looks like a boulder field. The hut is made from thatch and animal hides stretched over the rib cage of what looks like an immense reptile. Animal skulls, wind chimes, and totems and feathers and shells rattle in the breeze, and smoke drifts from the top of the hut. Well, mm -hmm. shall we? I think so. Only a bit of civilization still left here. We'll go over that way. Okay, you guys begin to make your way over, and a creature shuffles slowly around the hut hunched over in an animal-like posture. You realize it's a human woman, impossibly old, 
crippled by arthritis, blinded by cataracts. Her dark face and bald hat are outlined with streaks of yellow clay, suggesting the shape of a skull. Or perhaps it's her shriveled flesh creating that illusion. If you guys mm -hmm. look in the tomb uh, chat, you, um, there's a picture of her. I think I know who this is. You? And uh, she kind of just shuffles around and um, she doesn't notice you at all. She kind of shuffles forward and she kind of just sits in like a chair on the porch and like... Is she looking at us? No, nah, she's looking at the ground. It's just like creaking. I will like just kind of turn to Tiff. A little confused. Yeah, I'm, the Sheena looks super confused right now. Yeah, as am I. I don't really feel terribly comfortable in this situation. Would you like me to greet her? Sure. Yeah, it's... Okay. Um, this is not a place where I would assume slaves would be taken. Uh... Well, Since this is only one hello. of our destinations. So. Hello? Uh, hello, ma'am. And I will kind of... Who's there? Just some passing adventurers looking for some of our friends that have been displaced. Oh. 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 And you, you are? Uh, hmm. She stops. She kind of, like, looks around. She like squints as she looks up. She says, they, they called me Nanny Poo Poo. That's what they called me. Yes. They called you? Uh, yes. That's what they used to call me. Did you happen to see some um, people and chains taken here. I didn't see anything. Maybe heard. I um, I remember. Yes, they were taken. They were taken like all the rest, like all taken, the rest. Taken where? Mm, to the nest, the nest of the terror folk. Is that somewhere nearby or on another structure? And her like really shaky hand kind of comes over and she like points and she says, that, that side, that side of the plateau, that's where their nest is. Why weren't they taking you? I'm too stringy and old. I... They don't want me. Too stringy. Do they... Eat them. Mm. That's my concern. You know, do you know how long ago you heard these people taken? Mm. Mm. I haven't heard people in a long time. So I remember five days. You happen to know how many? Maybe more than five, less than five? No more than five. Why do you stay here? I have nowhere else to go. And these old bones can't make their way down the plateau. The terror folk don't pay me any mind. So I stay here. Do you like it here? Do you like it here?
Well, not particularly, but I've only just got here. Mm. Then you can leave. I don't stay here because I like it. I stay here because I have no choice. But if I had the choice, I don't think I would want to be anywhere else. Hmm. Do you work with them? Do, do, do they, I mean, they leave you alone? No, what do they? No, no. The skulls. That's all that's left of them. There was a beautiful, beautiful city here when I was younger. Terrafolk took them all. One by one. Days of screaming. Of anguish. Every time the villagers tried to go out and destroy that evil, they never came back. And they never learned. Some left, some stayed, but eventually they were all taken. Jacob. Yep. I don't necessarily feel she has any particular reason to lie, but Ira would still be like paying attention Roll to the insight. story for that. Um, I have advantage because of the ring of truth telling, so. Okay. Uh, 18. So now I stay here. Have you come to find your friends or have you come for another purpose? Because I do get villagers. I do get Chultons. All those here of my deeds and the Lord of Bones. Lord of Bones. Everybody roll religion. Uh, you know, Ira might know. What is going on? Oh my on? god. I, 19. 19? Crit, crit, no su idea. crit success. Chino's like, who's that? I'll kill him. Are you <laughs> yes. Get uh, Are you got a 13. Colton, which, uh, Na Ira, which natural you? 20. I was I like, 20. Ira might know when I rolled a natural 20. Mine's actually um, a 12. Ira and Tiff are aware that uh, Merkel is the god and the lord of bones. M Merkel? Merkel. M Y R K U L. Uh, okay. Do I know anything about him? Or? Um, he's like the god and lord of the undead. He's one of the dead three. Mm -hmm. Oh. Big yikes. She says. I can perform the, perform the rite of stolen life, if that's why you have come here. The rite of stolen life? Yes. What yes. is that exactly? It's a ritual of transformation. No, I'm good. Those who die here in Schultz stay dead. Right. You've noticed. But I am the only one who can bring their bodies back from the dead. Just the bodies. They, um... They retain their souls. A portion of it. What still remains. But they don't last for very long. Each day, a bit of their soul continues to be whisked away by this curse. Bullmonger. If you are truly, truly desperate, I can perform this rite. Hmm. Where the lost city is, the Omo. Omu. Yes. 
<laughs> what about oh no? Finish. What? I actually yeah. didn't hear what you say, Spencer. Do you know where it is? Oh. I know of its location. It is a deep secret. Many in the village of Mbala used to know. I am its only survivor. Do you wish for the curse of the soulmonger to stay here? I don't know. Tell us where the city is. You have a map? Mm, I could tell you. But you seem like very, very capable people. Capable to do something for me. I can't get out far from here. Could you? Do something for me. I was going to suggest as much. An exchange. What do you need? The terror folk. I want them all dead. I was thinking the same thing anyways. <laughs> How many of them are there? Good. Do you know how many they are? Just as my friend just asked. More than 20. Would they be at this nest? Yes. You will need to scale the cliff. There is no staircase. I think we have that covered. Right, Mary? Uh, yeah. Do we know how tough they are? They're intelligent flying creatures. They can be rather resourceful and lethal. 20 other uh, numbers are what concerns me. Me too. But we handle giants. Mm -hmm. so. so we had more time to prepare on our, guitar, on our account. That's true. The question is, is if we'll be going to them and they can have the benefit of being in the air. Is that the only thing you want? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not even yes. to leave this place? No. And you want them dead because of what they did to Mbala? Of course. They're just a nuisance. You didn't... Maybe one day this village... You didn't seem... Kingdom ...will rise again. You didn't seem terribly saddened that people had been killed by them in the past. They got what was coming to them. Jungle justice, I suppose. I believe this is something we can do. I'm more referring to the party than to her. Mm -hmm. If you believe so, then I'm with you. I was already thinking about that as the more I learned about these terror folk and what they could potentially be doing. This is more than just slaves. This is worse. Would you be, would you have the capability as well, Nanny, if you would tell us about Oralonga as well? Make that part of our deal. Whatever you know about it. Perhaps. Come. 
the other place they may have been taken as well. Five wasn't the only remainders. They could have been split up. Is this something that we all want to do? I'd like to look around a little bit before we leave. Okay. So she has a deal. Do you want some sort of proof? Mm, I will know. And as she sits back in her chair and she begins to rock away at her chair, you all hear little tiny footsteps coming from the top of her hut. And as you look up, you see um, about 10 of these little guys in the Roll20 chat. And they're kind of just oh. like sitting on top of her hut, like watching. Okay. Flying monkeys. Angel monkeys? Flying monkeys. Uh oh, they look like angels. And they're kind of just like watching, they're like, Oh, 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 oh. You, you want right. to explore, Ari? Yes, please. I'll follow your lead. All right. Um, so are you guys heading back into like the village area? Mm-hmm. As you head back, the only thing that's still standing here um, is uh, what looks like um, <coughs> uh, a cistern in the middle of the village. Can I go in there? Yeah, you go over towards towards the cistern. Um, it, uh, uh, it's, it's more or less uh, 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 barely still uh, uh, there. And um, there's, uh, uh, it's 15 feet in diameter and the shaft uh, drops down to you. You have no idea how deep and it's scummy black water. And the lip and walls of the cistern are brick lined. It's just this pool of dark water. I don't know if I trust that lady. Neither do I. Hmm. She reminds me of Scary, scary lady in um, Barovia. She's definitely. She's definitely doing things that are of, of a darker sort, for sure. I don't mm-hmm. know if she should be trusted, but she has information that we need. She doesn't care that all these people here died makes me wonder why she wants them dead. She said herself they don't bother her. Huh? Are they a Could threat be. to something that she wants to do? Maybe we could ask them. Maybe. Maybe they know. Maybe they've seen Omu. It's possible. What do you know of these creatures other than... I, I know anything that, about the de- of the desperate of what the uh, culture is like. Not much, but any kind of culture out here in the jungle for as long as it's been can be savage. I know that they have civilization, and I know that they can barter. They they are people are sold to them, but I would assume it's not for labor because we kind of see already. Not much labor to be done here. No. Do you believe that they eat? I would assume so. Yes. Because that is what I was picking up from what she was saying and what this seems like. I think it is likely that these, your crew was sold to them and then, or it may be dead. That is what I'm thinking as well. And if that is the case, I hope I'm dead no matter what she She's asking for it does not matter in in any case. I can understand. To me, if they're if they're doing that to people, especially if they have done it to my own crew, then I don't care about trusting her or not. We can, we can as well. We 
Doesn't matter to me. She might have information that's helpful for us. I'd like to see these creatures dead if they have done that. I think we can achieve that. We should just remember that we had two paths that we could go on, Impala and Orlongo. Both were places where your people could be taken. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many were taken in total. And if only five are here, that means maybe there are others that are still alive. I believe I believe that's about six unaccounted for. Oh. Give or take, there are five of them, maybe one or two are lost in the jungle. It's possible this is where they're at. This might be the end of their tale. We can ask, is, though. Then it is... If they've died a horrible death, then... It's just my job to make sure that their death is on. But their killers see the justice that they deserve is equal punishment. I still want those other pirates dead as well, but that's the ones that escaped. But that's a thing for another time. Okay. And I don't know if I, I share the same emotion about them, but I, I I can agree. These are people I've taken under my wing. These are more or less my family. They are they are people under my care. And they were taken, some were tortured, some either sold in slavery or eaten. I'd want to see those who did it. Maybe not meet the same fate, but certainly meet, meet a fate deserving of what they've done. I can support that. I, I don't doubt that you love these people. I just, I don't know. They didn't find them from the ship and take them to eat them. They were sold. They're surviving out here, just like everything else is. It's a harsh time. I, 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 I would say the pirates that took them are more to blame than oh, terror folk I, with empty stomachs. I, I certainly agree. But, but they're still a part of the same circle, same cycle. Absolutely. If they are doing it to, if they are buying a part of the same trade, then, I, then my crew was certainly not the first. How no. many ever have lost loved ones because of the hunger of these people? They could go out to the jungle and kill those monkeys and eat those monkeys. Of course, I, I ultimately will. agree. This this feeling I have will not stay in my blade. I agree with you. They have made a choice to dine on people if that is what they've actually done. I want to confirm that before I go torch their bodies, but... Um, They made the choice. Very clearly so. If they're shipping people in to be eaten, then they're making the choice. I'll support you. Um, describe what, you what it looks like as you're doing that, Ari. I need holy water to do it, so she's probably she probably lines like an area with holy water and then lights incense and sets out like little little figurine type things. And um, uh, give me a moment. I have some things I need to ask. And she'll sit uh, like crisscross and close mm -hmm. her eyes. Have I seen Ari do this before? Um, she's done it once before. Is this uh spell I think it is? I don't, I don't know what you think. 
Is it a... I can't remember the name of it. It's like you can ask like three questions or whatever. Yeah. Question more? No, no, it's no. It's called Commune. Okay. Yeah, Commune. Well, while she was doing that, um, what, what, what do you think, Anna? What are your thoughts on this? You've been fairly quiet. I don't exactly know. How do I put it? Um, people have... These are a sentient people, yes? They are. And if not us, they're more sentient than the to, monkeys we fought in the jungle. We need, we need to go now. We, we can't stay here. Why? She's going to start putting the little, little incenses out. Um, uh, uh, I don't think it's safe to talk here. Um, okay. We need to descend down the stairs or go to a different, uh, out of the village. Um, we need to go get Chena's people and leave. Okay. Then to the cliffside then. Or to the, uh, wherever she pointed. Yeah. Okay. Um, are, just going to put are, her are shield we away. to the decision? It, 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 whatever you learn. We'll play it by ear. I will summon my halberd. Summon it. And I will lead the way. And the wind begins to pick up a bit in, in, in Mbala. As um, it kind of pushes and pushes you all, you begin to kind of move your way forward. Could I do something as this is happening? Hmm. I want to uh, pull out one of those scrolls of sending that I have. Okay. And I'm going to cast it to Ari. Oh, okay. Oh, oh nice. okay. And I'm going to say, what happened? Are we okay? Um, she'll say, uh, I think she killed all these people. Possibly Chena's crew, too. I was... He continues to pick up. I was just going to look over at at Ari, and if they're, like, separate at all, um, he's going to close the gap a little bit and just kind of keep an eye around. All right, and as you guys are moving towards the other side of the plateau, and the wind is kind of continuing and pushing as you're going, in the distance, you all hear a very faint scream. This is no, like like wily kind of like like girl scream if anything this sounds like it sounds like a panicked yell coming from behind you and it's far away like coming from where she was yep um okay never mind maybe they're in there back to the hut then Oh, I see. Uh, remember um, that lady who lived in the, the chicken hut? Yeah. I think she's one of those. Ah, shit. Then we just... We, we have no time then. We need to go now. Yep. Lead the way. I'll begin the march upon this poor nanny. Okay. Do you guys Kill go over? The poo -poo. You start moving over. <laughs> Um, cloud kind of comes over the sun and uh, there's a bit of rainfall that begins to kind of descend as soon as you guys get closer. And as you begin to get closer, the door poof, slams um, pretty damn hard as uh, as she kind of steps out again and she says, what are you doing? And you are all quick enough to notice with your passive perceptions, she wipes blood off of her hand onto her clothing. Ice. Um, Just be ready. We heard a scream from over here and thought you might have been in danger. Thought that they may have decided that they cared about you now. <laughs> Leave me to my business. 
Wolf's and again, in, from the inside of the hut, you hear a scream. I would do it, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. And it's a, it's just this cried help coming from inside the the uh, the hut. Okay, hexblade yeah. curse. Yeah, I'm casting yeah. sleep. As soon as it happens, and as soon as you're casting it, out from underneath the mud underneath you, Chena, a hand grabs your leg. And that is where we're going to end tonight's game. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> creepy ladies in this game. I love this shit. I love it. These writers really love to put creepy old women yeah, in their right. games. <laughs> Uh, hags, man. Is she a hag? I don't know. Oh, she's definitely a fucking hag. You were talking mm -hmm. about Baba Lysaga and, and yeah. uh, all of them. I was just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't want to give anything away. But Chol, this is the beginning of this. Yeah. <laughs> this she is the on ramp to just <laughs> horror. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. We had Sue Monsters and Nanny Poo Poo today. Uh, it, 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 gets, it, go, it goes further. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. Well, thanks, everybody, for watching uh, tonight's game. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be back next week with another game um, where the party is going to get eaten alive by, uh, by Nanny Poo Poo. So, <laughs> nah. No. Nah. It's <laughs> no, not going to go that way. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Um, thanks again to all of our patrons. Um, go check out G Fuel. And uh, that is uh, the end of the stream. Nice. Thanks. <laughs>